Good morning, fellow diversifiers. My name is Natalia Gonzalez, and I am proudly from Miami, Florida, a senior at Mass Academy. Um, I'd like to begin by thanking the Princeton University class of 1966, not only for providing us with this generous, their generous contributions, but also for providing students like myself with an opportunity that is so unique and wonderful. I'd also like to thank our chaperones and all the wonderful students that I've met this week that have taught me weekend, that have taught me so much. My story begins in my home state of Florida, in which I collided headfirst with a very personal experience with the now famous Trayvon Martin case. Many of you may have heard about it. It was the first circumstance of its kind, and thus many students, including my friends, um, were left confused, even frustrated, with their sentiments towards this very controversial issue. Many resorted to violence and even skipping school as a means of make making their voice heard. Protective measures had to be taken in order to garner peaceful and effective protests during the upcoming trial. Thus, alongside the Community Relations Board of Miami-Dade County, the Miami-Dade County Youth Commission, my committee and myself, came up with the conference, the Trayvon Martin Conference, and put together, put together to encourage minority students to verbalize their sentiments towards racism and um, cultural discrimination in a safe and peaceful manner. After the initial event, I took the conference around town, traveling with, the tra with a panel group discussing race in local high schools. I later took a trip to Washington, D.C. and spoke to government officials and Florida politicians about the issue at hand. After meeting with state representatives, I built a relationship that ensured that students rece received counseling, provided them with service opportunities, and even a few with jobs. As a minority student myself, and as the daughter of Cuban refugees that were once discriminated against, this was a beyond enriching experience. I spoke to the audience that day about how, rather than to do completely without, we can reframe this concept of judgment. As a society, we can procure discussion that can lead to the pluralistic broadening of the mind. Over 300 minority students attended the Trayvon Martin Conference and had the courage to approach the podium and express their sentiments and personal relation, race relation experiences. And so with that, I shall, I, I shall leave you with this. Um, printed on the back of the Trayvon Martin Conference program, I wrote this poem that I feel truly embodies the notion of this event. Like the words of a language well known, civility is not oblivious to Judeus Isker riots, to those who crave only the power, the throne. Sin and scandal may penetrate, but dirge nor disappointments emanate. I urge my peers to protest peacefully, for racism is only a match and you are no gasoline. My committee and I host town forums tactfully, allowing you to express your discontent with the news, the magazines. My sphere reflects only the narrow kaleidoscope of courtesy, formality, and committee. I place my, my palm on the surface of my sphere. I am not in case against my will nor out of fear. I know very well that while aggression and gritted teeth are often unprosperous, a smile remains victorious. Thank you.